<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Well, welcome to Create on the Fly. I'm looking here to see. Okay, I see the comments. What about, uh, can you guys hear me? That's the main thing. I need a paper cutter here. I'm looking, looking. I think the volume is good. It's the green, the light is green. So what time is it? It is 5.59. Yeah, it should be about the, the sound is great. Awesome. Okay, so it's going to be um, a quick tonight. Here we go. Um, forgot to put it on Facebook. That's okay, right? So we're going to do um, a burst card, sunburst card tonight, and I'm using the same paper that I use uh, the last, uh, the last uh, live. Um, it's called By the Bay. And before going live, I check it was still available. Um, usually it's $15 a pack. It's um, $12, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. It's uh, on the clearance, uh, whatever, not the clearance. Um, rainy, rainy here too, rainy, windy. It's been great pretty much a good part of the week. We said the sun a little bit. One day we went out was good and then it's just really, uh, I mean, went out, went for a walk and then it's been very kind of cold and um, great. I'm pulling uh, my website here to check on the paper, and then I'm going to tell you. So next week, it's not a create on the fly, okay? But still the same time, same place. We are having our walkthrough of the catalog. So Ollie will be live with me right here. So um, I got a lot of sample here. I can show you some. And I'm going to have a lot more. So you see? You can see quite a bit. So I'm going to have not only um, share you some uh, product, but share you tips, a uh, way to find stuff in the catalog and so on, and um, new product uh, like the markers or a new formula now. I mean, a new configuration. I'm going to share that. So it's going to be uh, more than just a walkthrough of the catalog. I always share quite a bit of... Uh, I think one of the dogs trying uh, to come in. Um, I'm going to share a lot more than just walking through the catalog. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I was right. So the by the bay, it's still available right now. It was fifteen dollars, and it's twelve, and that it's while supplies last or till next Monday, because Monday it's the last day. So the catalog start Tuesday. But I'm doing my walkthrough on Thursday. I did a swap. I participate in the swap. Uh, I need to close that. Um, I participate in the swap, and I'm hoping the swap is going to be here so I can share more of the product. So talking about the new catalog and leaving with the, the old one, it's still some great deal, deal there. Remember that, um, oh, here. This, that dye, the painted label, still available for $14 instead of $35. So it's still some great deal there, but be aware that quite a bit it's sold out. So talking about this card that was two weeks ago, we're using the same paper. Uh, the lucky winner, it's Kathy Kelly. Kathy Kelly, if you can send me your um, mailing address, not in the comment. Go on my blog at frenchystamps.com and you get contact me. Click on that. Okay, I think we're ready to start. So um, let me, here we go. Here it is. So um, what inspired me to do that? Um, I click on my Instagram yesterday and I saw Rosemary from Canada, Rosemary Coleman, Coleman something like that, Rosemary. Uh, she's part of my paper pumpkin group too. Um, <clears throat> she did a discard and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's been a long time. I didn't do a sunburst. And so that's what we're going to do. So 
I can I had to get some paper out. Oh, okay. So I thought this would be lovely, kind of the wavy. So let's use this. Now it's gonna be kind of tricky. Hmm. One minute. I I have to put my thinking cap on. Because this go one direction, I'm going to go the other direction. I think that would be better if we don't have uh, one way or the other way. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this at uh, one, and a, one and a half at the bottom. Now we're going to cut, turn this around. So now we got four and a half, if I do my math correctly. Yeah. So we're going to cut this at strip of one and a half. One and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. So we got one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna cut, see this going the other direction, no choice, right? But that's okay, it's good. I'm gonna mix it. We're gonna cut that at four and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna mix those uh, two there. We're going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to wait for at the end. Okay. I'm talking to myself. Don't worry. I'm okay. Don't, don't call uh, the, whatever it's called, that number. I'm okay. We cut all this diagonal. So I'm taking those strips. It's four and a half by one and a half. Take the point and you're going to twist that diagonal. Okay, go diagonal and cut that. And then we're going to do the same here. So now we get this. We're going to start gluing. And I'm going to, I don't have nothing here. So, I mean, I brought two pieces of paper. I'm going to go ahead and cut this at five. It's almost like sleep hitting my window. Awesome. Kelly, it's life with us. So she knows she won. Awesome. Oh, I just noticed something. This is a my spare. And I'm like, something, it's rough. You know what? And if you don't take this off, especially in the groove, sometimes it make your paper, um, uh, you know, fray more. I thought that was off, but it's not. So now I'm going to take it. You can keep it there. Some people like to keep it there. I don't like it there. Especially you want to make sure that it's clear off your, um, your opening here. I'm going to say keep it clean from the crack there. Okay, we cut that at five. And we're going to cut that at three and three quarter. Et voila. Now, the other piece, I'm going to use that for my card base, I think. I'm going to cut that at five and a half. And then I'm going to score that at four and a quarter. Okay. And then I got the blue here. We're going to do that at five and a quarter by four. So I think I get everything cut so we can remove our cutting thing. Now we're going to start gluing. I like to use my silicone mat at any time we do something like this. Then I'm going to put this here. Oh, one minute. I need, so I need to find the center of this and I need a pencil though. Let me find a pencil here. Okay, we're going to do, uh, so it's five, so it's going to be two and a half. Put that at two and a half, make a mark, and make a mark. So we mark that the center. No, it's the, that prediction sheet there. I don't know why it was still there. So now we're just going to go ahead and start putting our... Um, piece of paper. I like to keep my point right in the bottom. This is no wrong and right and wrong for that. You can do smaller strip. You can do bigger strip. You can do strip of different uh, paper also. Really, it's no right and wrong. 
So I'm going to come right here. And the reason why I mark this, it's because I want to know, I want to have a center straight there. Now I'm going to go with another piece and I don't need to have glue so much higher. And then I'm going to put the other piece. So depending how much you want to leave in between, that's up to you. You don't want it to touch really yeah it would do something else it would do a different technique yeah i like to keep a, an opening now <clears throat> and we're going to keep on building and i got to remember not on the same direction that i'm going to put that at the end so if you get a design you see paper that don't have no direction you know like lines or writing or flowers going in the direction then it would be even more easier with your piece because I'm looking at the other piece there. It's going to be challenged a little bit, but not bad. So talking about designer series paper, Mon um, Tuesday I'm placing the order for my paper share. So if you did an RSVP and you want to be part of my paper share, make sure to go at frenchystamps.com. Right at the top, you're going to see shop. Click on the shop, and there you will see the paper share. <clears throat> the paper share is $49.50. Include all the designer series paper, exception of the designer series paper in all the colors, you know, all the family color. I just did um, the in color for that one. The rest, it include all the designer series paper, include the specialty designer series paper, also include the specialty paper. Somebody asked me if I would do just, you know, the, the designer series paper writing or just the specialty paper, and I don't have different option. It's one option. But one thing that I strongly, strongly recommend, though, instead of doing just one share, it's to do two share. Why to share? Because designer series paper get two sides. So if you do two share, then you don't have to make the decision which side you're going to use. Like this here, you would have to say, hmm, I like this, but then I really like this. So which side am I going to use? Well, if you do two share, then you don't have to make the decision because you get one uh, paper for this one and one paper for that one. So and that is one uh, of the reason that I, I strongly recommend uh, two sheets. I, I mean, two share. And not only uh, paper share, it's, I think it's great to get a sample of every paper. A lot of the time we think, oh, I really like this paper when you look at it in the catalog. But when you look at the paper in the catalog, I cannot show you the inside of this catalog. I mean, the catalog coming up because that's against policy, but I'm going to share the inside of uh, the mini catalog. You see, you just see bits and peas. Okay, so we're going to go on page 31. We're going to see a little bit more on page 31, but it's very hard to still see your paper. See? So when you get it, you thought, hmm, I didn't think the print was that bright or that big or so on. Well, with the paper share you excuse me you can really see which one you like and so on and then you just decide to buy the one that you like the most right so that is a very um, fun way to get all the designer series paper very at a great price the reason why i say a great price it's because that um you get all the paper for 49 if not it would cost you about 300 dollars so, so did you see this year? That was just pure luck. Okay. So send me to Vegas to put money in the machine because um, that is just pure luck because usually you would have to cut there. So what did I do to uh, be perfectly sized like this? I have no clue that, I mean, even if I try to do this again, my friend, it won't happen. So don't worry if it don't go all equal there. Don't worry. So now, what I don't like about this, it's all that goo I get there. But I still want to use my scissors and I'm going to um, 
clean it after. I'm going to show you what I clean my scissors with. <clears throat> and I got different type. This one, and I got another one. It's the adhesive tape remover pad. That you can get that like, it's like what they got at the hospital, like to remove band-aids and that. I order box of that on Amazon. I just love this to clean my paper trimmer, to clean my scissors. Uh, another thing that were great that I always keep in my craft room though, it is my friend here, W40. Then I always keep one in my craft room. That is amazing to clean your scissors also and your paper trimmer. I even get a video out to um, tune up your paper trimmer and it's using W40. So, um, I mean, usually I would let this dry completely, right? But that's okay. I'm going to clean that. So... <clears throat> If you see, I go from the back, you could use the paper trimmer too, but right now I get way too much glue. I would have really a fiasco there. So I just go from the back. And the reason why you want to go from the back, it's because you can follow the line of your cardstock. If you go at the front, you don't see exactly where the edge is. And then here, a little bit of those bits here. Here we go. Is that cool? Even the bottom, see, it was not the same direction. It did look good. I'll, it, it's very, like, wavy. Okay, this here, let me do this. And now, let's clean our sticky in and sticky scissors. So, um, yeah, I just order a box of that. It lasts me a long time. If you get um, a BFF that you craft with, yeah, split the box. Okay, whatever I'm doing here, you have to be very careful so uh, you don't cut your blade. Right now, you're going to say, oh, my goodness, she looked dangerous. I'm, I'm being very careful. I'm sure in the video, it don't look I'm being careful, but I am. And then I would, because it's kind of greasy a bit, I would um, wipe that off with a rag. And I see that I still have some. So like now this year, I'm going to keep it. And when I'm done with my life, I'm going to go ahead and do all my scissors and do my paper trimmer also. Just because uh, when I get one out, you can do more than one. Okay. So... Now, this is going to go here. I need a greeting, though. I really need a greeting. Is that cool? Um, I need to find a greeting. So you could do that with any paper. I mean, seriously, any paper. Imagine some in, like, bright yellow. You can do that with cardstock, too. And it would look good to emboss after. Hmm. You know what? I think embossed would look good. Let me one of my all time the time warm uh, 3D embossing. So I'm gonna take this, put this in. Even if I get my layer in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and emboss that. I think that's gonna look good. So let me emboss this. Whoops. Okay, I need to grab a greeting because we need a greeting, right? Oh, I like it with the emboss. Okay, so now let me gather okay, this. And of course, I'm going to grab go to greeting, right? Okay, I need, do I have scrap paper? Okay, I don't want to use those big pieces. Let me check if I get little piece here. One second. That is why it's called Create on the Fly, my friend. It's seriously, we create on the fly. 
Okay, I'm gonna use a uh, Knight of Navy for my scallop oval, and then I'm gonna use white for the greeting. Here we go. And, oh, I need some ink to imagine that, and not just ink, but I need also a block. So let's see what's gonna fit there. Um, just a note would fit there. Oh, thinking of you? Oh, that's thank you. I want thinking of you. I think thinking of you gonna be too long. Oh, it's close, but uh, not not that close. Okay. Oh, that one fit. Okay, well, let's do this. So what I like about just a note, it can be for everything. Everything, everything, everything. You can send it for a get well. You can send it for birthday. You can send it for just because. Say just I'm thinking of you. Yeah, just a note. It's great for all. Then... I don't know what I would stamp inside and I didn't bring no stamp set. So again, okay, let me washi washi this so I can remove this. Washi. Talking about washi washi. Gosh, we didn't been on a cruise for I think five years, you know, COVID it and blah, blah, blah. And now um, it's coming around here. We're gonna be going to Norway for the stamping up trip. So I'm going to get back in the mode of washi washi, washi washi. That's where I learned the washi washi. Every time you go uh, uh, to the dining room or to the buffet, it doesn't matter if you go to the fancy. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't matter if you go to the fancy or if you go to the buffet, they say washi washi, washi washi. They're there with their... Um, sanitizer uh, thing and you have to take the thing sh -sh -sh -sh. so we're going to be doing washi washi again here we go okay let's look if i get more of that paper so if i do that's what we're going to be using okay it's not the line it's the wave oh i see i see i see my friend so and again, this paper here, it is um, marked down to $12 for the pack of six by six, and it's 48 sheet. And the beauty of this, um, Seaside Bay, the dies cut many of the image in that, you know, like the birds, the, uh, oh, the crabs, so on the dies cut that so and the dies and the stamp set carry over okay so now we're going to take our paper trimmer and we're going to cut i think i'm cutting it because i'm going to have this one. yeah i'm going to cut one inch strip i don't want it the wavy part i want it just the lines here mm. Maybe I want the wavy part. Okay, let's cut the strip here. I'm going to have both, so I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, so this is five inch. That's okay. This one I'm going to put a five and a half. Let's see which one I like best. Okay. So do I want this over here. I like that. Or I want this over here. You know what? This is what I want. I thought to have it at the bottom. See, I changed my mind completely. And again, that's the beauty of create on the fly. You just make it as you go. If voila. Okay, now we're gonna Put that right here. Oh, I'm going to need some blings too. 
Oops, that is not shut good here. One minute. Okay, and let me gather some blings. There we go. I had a little, uh, a little wild hair there that we would say. Absolutely, change your mind. Do it as you. Yep, as you go. Okay, what, what, what? I know what I want, but I cannot find it. One minute. One. I used them not long ago. It's those flat pearl. Uh, where? Maybe I used them all? No, I didn't use them all. Huh. Ah, it's because I didn't put it in the right slot, my friend. That's what happened. When you don't put it back where it belong, you cannot find it. Okay, so I rate my embellishment like friendly to male and not friendly to male. And to be honest, these one, the flat adhesive back pearl, I think they're kind of friendly. See, they're not that thick. One that I don't think it's friendly to male, I had my hand on it, one minute. It's a dose uh, iridescent rhinestone. I mean, you can mail them, it's just they're very bulky. See how thick they are compared to these. So that's uh, one of the, the way I rate my embellishment. If they're friendly or not friendly. They look big, right? I thought, what the heck I see in there? But see when you put it side. Well, here we go. Now we're going to be. See how tinier they are? I mean, flat. This is a lot more raised. So that's one way that I like to um, rate my, uh, maybe I didn't have a bag for that. Did I add a bag for that, friends? That'd go with that, maybe not. Uh, that's the way I like to rate my, rate, rated, rate mine. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. And what I like about, oops, I better put my, uh, reading first. What I like about them, doesn't matter which color you use, it's going to pull that color in. See, that was the pearl that I used last week when we did our uh, mystery stamping, and I forgot to bring them out, I think. That was in the center of my flowers. You know what? I don't want big one on that one. So I'm just going to use those small one. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put five of them. Three. And then four. And then. Here we go. That is it. So what do you think? It's hard to tell um, how this look with this. Let me um, bring it closer here. Here we go. See how fun it is? So that would be a great, I mean, if you get strip of one and a half inch, inch at least by like four, four and a half, you could do those cards and use all that scrap paper. So very, and it would be great for any occasion, really. And then inside, voila. So I will announce the winner on that, not next week, the following week, just because uh, next week it's the walkthrough of the catalog. And then we're going to resume the create on the fly the following week. I think this one needs to be higher a bit and on this here. Mm, it's tough. It's good. So any questions, so uh, note absolutely next week that it's the walkthrough.
Okay, I'm looking at any question. I don't think so. Well, I hope that this was an easy one. I hope that you're going to get that designer series paper and use it. It's going to work with all kind of designer series paper. But by the way, that was the same paper that we used last week. Uh, it's still available as of when I checked uh, just a bit earlier when we started the live it's still available and instead of $15 it's $12 and you get 48 sheet I think it is 48 sheet oh yeah I was like let maybe it's wrong yeah 48 sheet of six by six so that is it, my friend. Till next time, happy stamping. And I hope to see you next Thursday. So that's going to be longer than a regular live. So maybe you want to get your popcorn ready. You want to get um, have a pen and a notepad uh, or your wish list, uh, your shopping list uh, ready to mark down because I'm going to share quite a bit um, that day. So it's going to be at least an hour and maybe a bit more. You know how it goes. So plan for longer next Thursday night. Till next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye for now.